A major snowstorm is scheduled to hit Weatherford and its surrounding areas on Sunday night. Between 8 and 12 inches of snow are expected. The administration has announced that campus will be closed on Monday, but is likely that the closure could be expanded to several days. On the Southwestern Facebook page, users discussed about the possibility of using Zoom instead. We learned during last spring that we can do Zoom. At least then we could stay caught up and cover all the material needed for future classes. Zoom should be utilized. No class is worth the life of any student member or staff personnel. Missing that lecture on the student's end should be handled on a case-by-case -case review. This decision needs to be made at least two and a half to three hours in advance for those of us who commute further than across Weatherford. Many people might be without power or internet after this storm, so moving to Zoom shouldn't be required. Otherwise, students might face consequences when they have no control over the situation. I think Zoom should be an option, but not a requirement for professors who want to hold virtual classes with the campus being closed. As of right now, classes will be online on Monday. However, Swasu Provost and Vice President James South knows about the difficulties when it comes to using Zoom during inclement weather. Sometimes we have done that. Um, in the fall, we had that really strange ice storm at the end of October. Very early for us to have winter weather. Uh, we did. <laughs> and we tried that. Uh, the problem was we had so many faculty members who were out of power themselves and didn't have internet service as a result. So how can they do online instruction without um, internet? So there were some times that we just had to say, we're closed, uh, we can't do this. While power outages are the obvious reason for not holding Zoom sessions, icy road conditions are the main reason to close campus. Well, those are calls that we make um, based on conditions on the ground usually. We do consider the driving, um, especially we consider what the highway patrol is saying about commuting. Because most of our students who commute are coming I-40. Uh, a few are coming on other roads. We can't you know, base it on every road condition. But if I-40 is hazardous, that's a big problem for faculty who commute and for students who commute. When campus was closed last week, many students got upset about the timing of the announcement. On Monday, the Swasu administration closed campus after the first classes had already started. On Wednesday, the campus was supposed to open at 10, then at noon, and eventually not at all. We asked James South about that. Those situations are where we think that it may get better by this time. We're always trying to have classes when we can because students pay for their classes. Um, professors don't want to get behind in their classes and we want to have class when we can. By eight o'clock in the morning, we could already see, okay, 10 o'clock isn't going to happen. Let's say noon. Um, with afternoons, we have labs very often and we try to preserve the labs because for most of the lab courses, it's a once a week chance to have the lab. I can tell you it's one of the most difficult decisions we ever made. Offering classes as much as possible is not necessarily an opinion James South shares with the student body. Definitely will be closed. Um, <laughs> but from Canada, like I'm from Canada, so like I'm not really worried about it. I definitely think Monday will be closed. And then depending on how long that sticks around, I think probably Monday and Tuesday will be closed. Maybe open up on Wednesday, maybe. Oh, at least the first couple days. I hope so. I'm really, really hoping for it. Like I want, I want there to be like massive amounts of snow. I don't want to come to school. Oh God, I hope so. I really hope so. The Southwestern is interested in your experiences during the upcoming snowstorm. How do you spend the time? Send us your stories, pictures, and videos to mediaswasu at gmail.com and we will publish them on our website. Don't forget your name and major.